Laura makes a, an interesting point. It's a very small percentage of Muslims who wear the face veil. And I was talking on my radio show on Talk Radio the other night to uh, an imam who said it's not even part of a Muslim tradition. It's part of a culture that came from Is a certain Is it down area. to just trust? Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be checking a video titled Should the Britain Ban the Buka? Or Should the Britain Ban the Makeup? So let's start with the video. Go. I wonder how many people have actually been affected in Germany by ever seeing anybody in a face veil because that's something we need to bring back to uh, the UK and actually ask ourselves why is this such a troubling question? Um, I don't know, have you seen anybody or actually dealt in business with any woman in a veil recently? Is it a major concern for you? Well, I think it's probably different in London because it's very metropolitan mm. and you come across all sorts of, uh, of races, nationalities, beliefs and cultures in, in London. And what we need to remember over here I don't is... have a problem with it. Yeah. Um, I, I have a problem with people telling women how they should dress in order to fit in. I mean, I, do, I don't think we can have an equal society whilst telling people you have to be uh, dressing the same and being the same, but we can all work together. There's no well, problem Well, James there. disagrees, and, uh, and uh, you disagree. A uh, uh, great many people agree with you and your thoughts. In a national poll, 57% of Brits back the ban. And our own poll this morning, and we've had 7,000 respondents, 83% agree that we should ban the burqa. OK, well, first of all, I'm not a member of the fashion police, and I, I mean, I've known Lauren, what, 20-odd years, and I, I don't mind how Lauren dresses, it's very nice, I mean, I don't see any difference to a, uh, anybody else, really, and well, She's not uh, dress that's dressing fine. for fashion. Well... She is, really, because that's a very fashion, fashionable headscarf she's got. What I object to, and I think what a lot of people object to, the burqa is one thing. I mean, you know, we have that whole discussion about the burkini, which was stupid, wasn't Could it, we really? Just make the difference between the burqa, the burqa yeah, and the face veil? We're talking about the face veil, I mm. think. And uh, there aren't that many people who are completely covered, but if you live in certain parts, of Manchester, certain parts of Yorkshire, certain parts of London, there are quite a lot of women who do want to cover up completely apart from their eyes. And I, I just... And I'll tell you why I don't think it's acceptable. Because I would like to know you, and I would like to... If I was living next door to you, I'd want to know your wife. If we were neighbours, we want to get together. You can't in this country... I don't think you can anywhere. I really don't know why anybody would want to keep their face covered. But if you keep your face covered, then that says that you don't really want to have a relationship, you don't really want to know somebody, and that you're only prepared to uncover okay, your I'm, face I'm, I'm until you know somebody a, a little better. And I think that's, I think that's slightly patronising to those people who don't keep there'll, themselves... There'll be covered. a lot of people yeah. who obviously will agree with James and will say that if you come to live here, then the way we recognise people, the way we communicate mm. initially is mm. through our eyes and our faces, and, and so therefore exactly. you should integrate yeah. with us. I think that's all very sensible. A, that, 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 that's quite bright. Of course, that's the way we communicate. However, I wonder how today those few women, and it's not it a lot a of women, it's a few. You said earlier, yeah. I think quite a lot of women, you said in Manchester, it's well, there not, are areas where a say, lot of people would I know, but, but like in proportion to the Muslim community, we have to mm. remember, it's something like less than 3 or 4% of Muslim women even choose to wear the veil. How are they feeling this morning? And how, is, how am I feeling as a Muslim in this country? Because I, we feel that you'll be coming for the headscarf next. Well, because the, this is about, surely, it's about conformity. It's not about sharing ideas at all, James. Actually, no, no. You want to be able to talk to people in your way. <clears throat> With, with, that makes you comfortable, but it doesn't matter about the other person being comfortable. Uh, I've got to, I'm going to say the debate comes in uh, in the week that a major government review said that segregation amongst British mm. communities is at a worrying level. Uh, the Casey report highlighted the plight of women in some Muslim communities who said they were less likely to speak English, more likely to be kept at home. Mm. Uh, so we're not doing anything, certainly by saying, right, OK, I don't know how you police this, for instance. I have no idea. If there is a, a, a woman walking but down the street, what do you do? Do you, do you, do you take it off her, in which case well, I then you isolate people even would do further. That. I hope nobody would do that. I hope we would get to a situation in this country where people realise that the only way forward... And, we listen, we, I think we're friends, aren't we're we? We're friends. Um, and we disagree about religion, but that we, we talk about other things. I think you have to get to a situation where we have to understand that because somebody wants to follow a particular religion, 
um, that is entirely up to them. But just... when you, when your religion, wait a minute, when your religion says you can't mix with certain people, you can't do certain things, you can't... You're making and some huge of the... presumptions there. Is, You're is, making is huge this, presumptions Is this about there. a religious dress or is it about the fact that your face is covered? Would you say I think to a two... nun walking down the street, I, 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 I'm sorry, but, but that to me is, and you said a Philip, costume... I'm sorry, is the, it, is, but we're not talking take... about nuns, Philip. We're talking about specifically this, this report, which is all focused on the Muslim community. Well, no, and that's a part to... of it. What we're talking about is the, the is, face is, is the And I think Laura makes a, an interesting point. It's a very small percentage of Muslims who wear the face veil. And I was talking on my radio show on Talk Radio the other night to uh, an imam who said it's not even part of a Muslim tradition. It's part of a culture that came from Is a it down area. to just trust and security? It makes us frightened. Yes, I think that's the point. And actually what Angela Merkel said in the end of her speech, she said, it's not us, which means that Muslims are now, or people of faith who choose to dress a bit differently, we're not part of the mainstream. We're being told to integrate, mm. but in a very aggressive way. You can't say to someone, look, hang out with me and be like me, or I'm going to make your life really horrible. Nobody's trying to do that, Lauren. No, but that's nobody, how it feels. Well, I can, I can speak from that. within the but Muslim female community, there are quite a lot which is of, quite aggressive. There are the quite a lot of women out. who... Um, become Muslim, as you have, from yeah. a, a completely non-Muslim background, mm. and then they decide that they want to cover up completely for mm. some reason. You might, in a, in a year or so, I hope you don't, you might decide that everybody's so alienated against you and, and your religion that you want to cover up. That wouldn't be a reason for covering. Final, we, we, final point. Look, we all want a happier society where yeah. we can all work together, but uniformity is not equality. All right, thank you both. Thanks for watching. Click here for more this morning video. Wow. What an interesting uh, debate, uh, as we all know, just from the title, should Britain ban the Buka? Wow. This has been uh, a topic of debate uh, recently. A lot of people have been debating about uh, this same topic. I've watched uh, a video uh, by uh, organized by Piers Morgan on the same topic. Should Britain ban the Buka or the Nekap? I've also watched a video where Douglas Murray addressed uh, this issue of uh, banning the Buka, banning the Nikap in Britain, in UK, and they've all given several reasons why they feel uh, the Nikap or the Buka should be banned. If not totally banned, it should be banned in public places where, uh, according to uh, where in public places, it should be banned in public places places because of security reasons where your face have to be seen as a mode of identification so uh, the police people can also do their work effectively because I believe uh, in a situation whereby uh, 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 the police people uh, can't see your face as a mode of identification if there's any issue they won't be able to address it because uh, they don't know those that come in they don't know those that, that those, those that's came into the building because uh, they never saw the, fa uh, the face of the people. So I believe if uh, the niqab or the buka is not to be totally banned, at least it should be banned in public places like the courtroom, like the schools, and just as a mode of identification. Because I believe in order for the police people to be able to do their work effectively, there's the need uh, for them to see your face as a mode of identification, as a mode of identification, and uh, you can tell they also gave uh, a good point in this in this video that even according to uh, he said uh, he spoke to an imam, and from uh, what the imam said that uh, the buka or the niqab is not even uh, in the Quran. It's more like as uh, as uh, a cultural thing, uh, not uh, uh, not uh, a religious thing. So I believe. You coming into a society, you coming into a, a country, you should be able to accept the country's culture, you should be able to accept the country's uh, values, you should be able to accept the country's religion. Because I, for one, I believe uh, Britain as a country has their own identity, and Britain identity uh, is embodied in their culture, is embodied in their tradition, is embodied in their values. So you coming into a country, in order for you to be able to integrate effectively there is a need for you to adjust yourself to accommodate the people's culture adjust yourself to accommodate the people's tradition adjust yourself to accommodate the people's values instead of imposing your own culture your own values on the people 
So I, for one, I believe everyone has the freedom of speech. Everyone has the freedom of expression. Everyone has the freedom to dress however they deem fit. But in some situation whereby uh, uh, people need to see your face as a mode of identification for security reasons, I believe women should should uh, should, should should be ready to uh, compromise uh, in some ways to uh, to be able to show their to be able to show their face. And I believe right now in the society where we have a lot of communication, people have to see your face so they'll know the right time to be able to communicate certain topic and certain issue just by looking at your facial expression. People can tell your mood, can tell your mood if you are sad, if you are happy. So they'll be able to know the uh, best time to communicate to you about some certain topic, about some certain ideas. Even in schools where the teacher has to teach, there's a need for the teacher to be able to see the face of the student is teaching because sometimes in some cases, some students are not confident enough to be able to ask the teacher question if they don't get what the teacher is teaching. But just by uh, the teacher looking at the facial expression of the student, the teacher will be able to tell if the student are, are really following up with what she's teaching she, so she can elaborate better on the topic she's teaching. I believe if uh, the niqab or the buka is not to be totally bound, at least it should be bound in public places whereby uh, uh, people need to see your face for security reasons. I've learned a lot uh, just by watching this video. Uh, uh, Cause we can alter recently there have been a lot of debates about banning the buka in Britain, banning the uh, niqab uh, in Britain, in UK. I've heard Piers Morgan view, I've heard Douglas Murray view, I've also heard an imam view that stated that uh, it's more like a cultural thing, that it's not, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not in, in the Quran, that it's, it's a cultural thing, not a religious thing. I've also heard Douglas Murray, Douglas Murray point of view, according to Douglas Murray, the niqab or the buka is highly undesirable in the society. It's highly undesirable for you to be engaging in a communication with someone whereby you can't see the face of the person. Wow. So keep the comments coming. Do you think uh, the niqab or the buka should be banned in Britain, should be banned in UK? And kindly state your reason in the comment section. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day.